Hi, I am here to review Old Holland Artist Quality Watercolor Paint. Um, it comes in these tubes, and um, one of the first things that you notice when you run into this brand is that they have a humongous color chart. Um, they also have some of the yummiest colors available. Um, in comparison with some other brands, their colors are so bright and so vivid and so deep. They are pretty wonderful. They have um, a really, um, how shall I say it, indigenous character. This paint is, is, has a mind of its own. I'm going to show you my palette. There are a couple of different colors in there from, from different brands, by the way. This is Winsor & Newton. This is Winsor uh, yeah, this is also Winsor & Newton. They are a lot harder, but I don't know if you can see it from there. I'll just stick my finger into this. When I put my finger into the dry paint, and I haven't been painting with this for a while, it comes out green. So um, that says something about the um, consistency of the paint. This is very, very like paste. Um, it's really great because when you have this a wet brush, you can simply put it on once and then you have a lot of color. Um, I think the most important characteristic of this brand is that it has so much color. Um, I don't know any other brand that has so much pigment in the paint. And um, on the one hand, you know, it, it, it's hard to, to review this paint because um, when I bought this, it didn't really feel like watercolor paint, almost. It is watercolor paint, it really is. And I know a couple of artists that really work with this and don't want to have anything else. But the colors are excruciatingly bright so um, I work a lot with colors I illustrate I do art journal and my my work is bold and bright and um, I am NOT the traditional watercolor type so I should like it but sometimes I find these colors are so overwhelming that um, I find it hard to tone them down and to get them under control and I think it's a matter of learning how to work with this paint um, but it takes a little getting used to. When you're, when you're used to working with watercolors, um, I think the first time you get this paint, and of course it will depend on the colors, and I, I know I have some really bright colors that are very pushy, um, but then I think you will uh, need to get adjusted to that because it works a little different because of the brightness. Um, they have, I believe, but of course that's a matter of taste, um, but when you look at the color chart, um, they, there is this, this hand-painted color chart. Some, some art shops have it. And when you can get your hands on that and just take a look at it, it's wonderful. I know an art shop that sells a handmade color chart for this brand. And um, the colors are, are incredible. I mean, of course, there are those normal colors too. But what this brand just, you know... Um, what what makes this brand special is the the wonderful colors. They um, it's expensive. Uh, it's not very wide available. So um, I think that you know gets the, gets the price up. This is the most expensive paint that I have. Um, so um, you know when I chose my colors, it was very hard which colors I would choose. But they have this blue. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can show you, but here, this is a blue, an almost turquoise blue. I think it was Scheveninger blue. I'll see if I can find it. Yes, it was. Scheveninger blue. I don't know how you pronounce that in, in English, but Dutch is Scheveninger, Scheveningen. It's um, a little town uh, next to The Hague on, on the North Sea in the, in the Netherlands. That's what it's named after. Um, but this blue is so deep, so incredibly deep and beautiful. This is, this is absolutely by far the most beautiful color 
uh, blue color I ever ever saw in any other uh, paint. So uh, what can I say? Is it good? Yes, it's good. Is it light fast? Yes, it is light fast. Um, it is bright, very bright. Look, you see, uh, this color chart has been painted a long time ago, but it is still, you know, despite my camera making things blue and everything, um, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous colors, and this gave this evening a blue here. I can't show you on camera. It just doesn't, it just doesn't, you know, doesn't show, does it? It's so beautiful. The turquoise here is not as bright as, as on the camera, but it's very, very beautiful. This yellow green is, is neon. It's, I don't use it a lot, but for detailing sometimes. But this is a color that I, you know, I have a lot, I have quite a bit of experience with watercolor. But I have yet to learn to control this one. This is like riding a wild bull. <laughs> you have to um, really give yourself a chance. I have two. This is the first um, paint box that I filled it up with. And now you can see why it's important to make a color chart. Look, these are the colors. But do you notice that these colors are, you know, and on camera, they seem the same as do these. They are very dark, and it's very good to have this color chart so that you can tell which color is which. Good quality. It has a pasty consistency. Extremely intense uh, pigmentation. And um, extremely bright in color it's 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 a bold brand in, in every sense of the word um, so I would review it as extremely good paint but might take some getting used to at least that's my experience I hope I've been of any help and if you can get your hands on that color chart or can lay your eyes on such a color chart please do and don't forget to look at the schreven in a blue because that's just gorgeous blue <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.